welcome back. You're watching Overdrive. Now, Toyota's one make ETOS motor racing series has created quite a buzz in India over the past year. Toyota selected 25 lucky drivers and they're being given rigorous training to prepare them for the upcoming race weekends. Overdrive's Rishad Modi is one of the lucky 25. He spent his time in Chennai being trained by Toyota. Take a look. <laughs> Toyota's Etios Motor Racing Series was conceived as an opportunity for young and passionate racers to experience high-quality single-make racing. Just after the launch of the car at the Auto Expo, Toyota held driver selection trials across the country, whittling the list down to 25 drivers who will race the full series in 2013. I'm one of the top 25 selected drivers who are going to be competing in the series over the next one year. But like me, there are a lot of young drivers out here who don't have much experience with motorsport. So what Toyota has done is they've called us three days in advance and they're going to give us some extensive training. Let's see how it goes. Modern racing drivers are some of the fittest athletes on the planet. And so the moment they arrived in Chennai, all 25 drivers went to work. Workout, that is. Running, stretching and putting together a fitness program that would allow all the drivers to handle the rigours of driving a race car at top speed. With the body taken care of, it was time for the mind, with psychologist Aarti taking everyone through visualization exercises to keep the minds focused when behind the wheel. A lot of what we do is to do with performance and excellence. So I use neuro-linguistic programming. What we did today was neuro-linguistic programming, along with a lot of Eastern science, like creative visualization, affirmations. And so today, what we did was called the mind game, where, you know, balancing the mind and the body to reach your peak performance. Body and mind prepared, it was time to race or learn how to race in the new Etios race car. First up, acceleration and braking test, where we were asked to repeatedly launch the car from the start line, drive through a slalom and slam hard on the brakes at the end of the straight. By now, we've gone through half of the driver's training program. So far, we've gone through some pretty intensive braking tests, acceleration tests, slalom tests, and even some high-speed cornering. But the interesting part's coming up after lunch. We're going to be taken around the entire track and shown the fastest line by the Japanese instructors. It's going to be good fun. The next few sessions were all about learning the track and putting the instructor's advice into practice. The sessions were split into two stints of laps. One quick blast, then back into the pits to analyze the onboard telemetry data before heading back into the car to fix mistakes and find those crucial extra bits of speed. Hypothetically, you can put them through a lot of situations and tell them this is what you have to do. But actually, on the track, there can be millions of various combinations that can happen around you. And it is like, uh, not that you are only making a mistake, people around you could be making mistakes. So you cannot really simulate a situation of everything that they could experience on the track. So practically you have to be, you have to drive at least about five or six races before you have some idea of what can happen around you. And then you can probably, you'll know for yourself what you have to do. And also you have a few drivers who are very aggressive and who are not so aggressive. Uh, when you race and do a championship along with them, then you'll know there are a few drivers who are very aggressive and then you got to deal with them differently. Eager to put all that we'd learned into practice, we set out for our qualifying laps. Within three laps, I realized this was not going to be an easy weekend for me. Thanks to brake issues, I could only manage 14th position for my first race. And though through the races, I enjoyed some overtaking opportunities and plenty of racing incidents, I could only manage to finish at the back of the grid. While 2011 Indian Junior Touring Car Series champion Diljit won all the races. Well, race two and race three are finally over. Despite the fact that I started at the back of the grid for both races, I had an absolute blast. Racing is really infectious and I just can't wait for the next round at Delhi.